what's going on guys welcome back to the channel today we're going to learn how to create this minimal title animation inside davinci resolve so to get started we're going to go to the project settings and change our frame rate to 30 and play back to 30 as well and click on save then we're going to right click in the media pool and create a new fusion comp and i'm going to set the frame rate to 30 and duration um i don't want it to be too long so two seconds is just fine and i'll just rename this to maybe animation click on create drag this onto the timeline and let's go to fusion where we will create this animation right click on the floor arrange tools to create i'm going to move the media out to the right let's bring in the text plus node and i would need another one so let's just bring in another text plus node so to view this node you just simply drag this onto the viewer and just type in your text so i'm going to type in minimal and i'll just change the font you can obviously use any font and any text increase the size and yeah that's pretty much it and do the same thing with this text as well animation unisans italics and increase the size a bit so let's just view this and well let's just copy the size over here control c and paste it over here all right so to view these two together you can just connect the output of text one with the output of text two it will result in this merge node you can view this merge node and as you can see that these two text layers are on top of one another so you can just right click in the viewer and click on guides show guides and i want this text one to be on top of this line that is going through going across the viewer and i want the text two to be below this line so something like that all right so we can just turn off the guides or let, let's just you know leave this on so now we can just delete this merge we don't want that for now let's just split this view uh, i want this text one on the first viewer text two on the second one all right so to create our animation first we need to create a matte source for our text so to do that just click on the text one hit shift space bar and then search for background and click on add and this will add a background and a merge node so all you have to do is just click on the background and if you want to see that background node it is just a simple black color so just click on the background and then you can also rename this to matte just for the sake of organization and then you can just add a rectangle mask to this all right i'm just going to move this to the left and on the rectangle mask we'll just lower down the level so that we can see the text behind it and to see the text we need to you view the merge node so it too to view this on the second screen and use the rectangle node and just change the width and the height so i'm just going to change the width i'm going to leave the width because it's perfect i don't want to mess with the width i'm just going to change the height and uh, change the center value so that we just put this over here and also i'm going to make sure that this mask is on top of this line which is going across the viewer the horizontal line so just make sure that it's on top like that okay so the next step is to click on the merge node and you have all these different options you want to make sure that the operator is set to n and you'll notice that your color of your text will change to black and even though the color of our text is white it changed to black and this is controlled by the matte uh, background node so if you go to click on it and change the color over here you can see that this is controlling the color but we don't want that we want to change the color inside the you know the text itself the text uh, the default you know the default controls so even if i change it to any other colors let's say this red one and click on ok you will see that that it's still black on the merge so the problem is that if you follow the text one node if you follow this pipeline you can see that the output is connected 
to the merge one as a background so we want this as a foreground and to simply uh, change it you can click on that node the merge one and hit ctrl t on the keyboard and it will basically swap the input and with the output so now you can easily go to text one and change the color to any color that you want i just want this to be white and click on ok now we are done with our first text we can copy this and paste it over here it's just and just connect the text to with merge one and now all you have to do is just go to rectangle mask and just position this properly so let's just view the merge one uh, one dash one to the right and uh, let's just view this on the second viewer rectangle one and i'm just going to change the center y so i'll just bring this again make sure that the rectangle mask is below this guideline which is going across you know the horizontal line just make sure that it's below it and then i'm going to increase the width as well so that i can see the entire text that's perfect now connect the merge one with merge one dash one and this will result in another merge node and this we can view this on the second viewer and let's just go to single view and this is our you know both these two texts finally meeting each other and again you can change the text color by going into the default color picker option anyways um, so let's just leave this to you know red now all you have to do is just animate it so we can animate it by simply selecting the text one node go to 30th frame right over there and I'm going to go to the layout tab create a keyframe on center X Y go back to the very first frame and just move this down till it disappears and I'm going to do the same thing with text 2 as well go to 30th frame layout create a keyframe on center X Y go back to the very first frame and I'm just going to move this up till it disappears like that now go to the spline and we'll just uh, before that let's just preview this animation if you just play this this is what we have created now it's pretty slow and looks boring so we can use the spline over here just click on it you'll get this window over here we'll select the text one first uh, click on this icon if you don't see your keyframes you can click on this icon that says zoom to fit click on it and then click on select all smooth the keyframes click on this icon smooth hold the alt key and just drag this handle to the left and we do the same thing with text 2 as well if the keyframes are not visible click on zoom to fit select all the keyframes then smooth out the keyframes and hold the alt key and just create a graph like this now finally our animation will look like this now to create the out animation it's um, pretty simple you can either do this inside the fusion um, you have to you know create the keyframes create the splines but there's a better way of doing it inside the edit page itself so I'll just connect the merge with the media out go back to edit page this is our animation what I'm gonna do is this is a fusion comp so if you right click you don't have enough options to play with if you change it to a compound clip and click on create now to right click you can see that you have more options to play with we'll just duplicate this hold the alt key and just drag this to the right and now on the on the second clip you can right click and click on change clip speed and you have the reverse speed option and click on change and that's it you have the in animation and then the out animation as well finally you can combine these two together new compound clip and go to inspector and you can play around with the uh, the size and the positioning and the opacity and the rotation and stuff like that so um, that's pretty much it guys that's how you can create this animation inside davinci resolve i hope this video is helpful uh, if it was don't forget to leave a like and also subscribe to the channel uh, thank you for watching and i'll see you guys in the next one